So I'm Paul Wilson and I'm the Highway Technology Director responsible for intelligent transport systems at Kia Group, responsible for things like smart motorways, uh, highway lighting, uh, intelligent transport systems as I said, and also a, a massive influx and increase in research and development and collaboration between contractors and clients. And I've come here today to uh, listen to what the industry's uh, got to say, what they're doing, and how we might work together better in the future. Well, one of the things that amazes me about, about highway lighting is how incredibly resilient and how transformative it is. Uh, a smart piece of infrastructure is a physical asset uh, which becomes a digital asset, and highway lighting has, has been one of the forerunners of that. When I left the industry, it was pretty humble, it was a pretty dumb asset, but now it's become uh, a, a, almost a smart cities and IoT backbone with the ability to sort of be, have a connectivity path that connects so, up, so many other assets. It's really, really critical asset in my world for things like connected and autonomous vehicles and electric vehicle charging, which are massive mega trends in the highway sector. Well, I think that the, the clients, which we've historically complained about as not being open for business with regard to R&D and collaboration are actually leaving us behind. I, I know that there's working groups that include Tideway, uh, Crossrail, Highways England, Network Rail, Anglian Water, who are really coming together to share good ideas and actually put their money where their mouth is. For example, Highways England have got an innovation technology and research fund of £150 million exactly to drive forward new technologies, new materials, new ways of working, better use of data. And actually, it's, it's the enterprise sector that's got to catch up and work better together to, uh, to play nice together, to share good ideas, to, to move the industry at the pace it needs to go at. Well, I would, I would say that is if you look at the way the automotive sector is going, there's almost an aggregation between telecommunications and, and the big tech firms and the automotive sector. There's almost a, a, an aggregation of, of, of that's technology agnostic and solution agnostic and it's about it's about taking those end there's those smart assets that are collecting information transmission paths that are taking them back into uh, in, into big data so the things you hear about about ai machine learning big data these things used to be quite um, nebulous and, and and not particularly well worked out but you understand how how the next generation behind us and the generation behind that, how they connect, how, how it doesn't matter whether there's a Samsung Galaxy phone or an iPhone, you know, everybody can access the same data, the same apps, the same APIs to connect the same information and that's really how industry is going to go. I think Lux Live's incredible. I, I, I feel incredibly proud and, and humbled that they asked me to speak uh, and now that I'm here I'm seeing that people are just really getting the agenda of, of you know, moving digital forward and it's not just about lighting, it's about connected architecture and, and again, creating that sense of place, that sense of health and well-being as everybody's getting on that agenda about how crucial lighting is.